picture a little strip didn't it all right today we're gonna learn or we're gonna show you how to do all change on these hyundai elantra takes five w20 oil this is a 2018 elantra model um so what you do is put it up on a ramp secure it um, pull your hand brake up put something in the back of the tire that we want to roll back open these up for your airflow um, check all your coolant and washer fluid coolant brake oil i know i need to put some more in that one check all that up while you're here and then underneath the vehicle you're gonna do a a drain and the uh, filter so uh first thing we're gonna do is take the drain plug loose and empty out the oil after that we're gonna take the um, filter out and empty out all right so low for me huh? is it me or this car is too low for me to be underneath the car all right right here is your drain plug you gotta take that off to drain the oil this is your oil pan and here's your filter all right so i'm gonna take these out this right here I'm gonna take that out I think it's a 17 millimeter and drain it out once drain is while juice is draining I'm gonna clean the plug the filter I mean the uh, washer and once it's done draining I'm gonna clean where this will go on to and once that's done I'm gonna open the filter out and take everything out of the filter I'm gonna replace this bag. You just gotta hand tight it as much as you can, but no force, because you don't wanna break it. And then you start putting the oil. All right, so maybe two in a minute. Get your, what is that? Get your pen ready. It took us forever to get this bolt loose. And I'll show you why, but uh, once you have it, make sure you have these there. And 17 millimeter. You might want to put your gloves and safety goggles just in case. But, uh, hold on. Hey, is the thing open in the top? Yeah. All right, so just loosen it up a little bit and keep it clear. Because it's going to shoot back. And it's windy, so I got to be careful. I don't want all to get on my GoPro. All right. <clears throat> As you see, we got the drain plug out. I had to get me a new bolt because, uh, or 
it was all stripped out so uh now before you put it in you gotta make sure you clean these threads up so clean the threads up put a little lubricant in uh, or old oil on the uh, on the plug that you're about to plug in plug it back in or the bolt and you should be good so uh give me one second i'll be right back all right just like that just hand tighten it and then use the ratchet just to get a little torque to it but don't too much because in the summertime or as the engine gets hot it will get tighter so and then uh, once you put all in there just double check if it's dripping tight a little more if not then you're good to go now the filter time all right everything this time we're not gonna put too much force on any of it we're just gonna make sure that it does not leak when we fill that up with the with the oil man that's pretty much it took us a few hours to get this thing done because last time we did it we had to we hand tighten it and then we put a little torque on it but this time we just don't hand tighten no torquing all right, and now we're just gonna fill it with oil and see where we stand. That's how you make your own funnel. Get an empty water bottle, cut it to fit the size. You have one for each compartment. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to tap up all the fluid that we need and uh, bring the car down, let it run for a little bit, check the oil. And that's pretty much it.